hello everyone welcome to wix ideas and in this tutorial i'm going to show you how you can add a collapsible text inside of your wix repeater item now, as you can see from this each of these items have a section for description but doesn't show the complete item because of the length of the item and we have kept this consistent with only two lines of the description showable at a time now, i'm going to show you how you can achieve this without writing a single line of code and with this example here as you can see we have two drop down elements that allows you to to filter through this repeater content and this is also achievable without any single line of code so you want to go ahead and watch the tutorial about how to filter drop down with repeater because this feature is achieved by only connecting your drop down to your data set that is connected to a content manager displaying the contents on this repeater so for today's video i'm going to go ahead and show you how you can add this kind of text that goes ahead to add these ellipses here that shortens your text into two lines viewable at a time and before we get started please don't forget to subscribe to this channel give this video a thumbs up and also let me know in the comments if you have any questions and please do turn on your bell notification to be the first to know of future videos now let's dive into the editor so this is the page where i'm going to be working with and i want to add a little bit of description to each and every one of these items on my repeater now to do that i need to add a special element called the collapsible text but before i add that i want to show you the structure of my content manager which displays the items to the site visitors so this is my content manager as you can see we have the title image location the cuisine and the description and this is the description which i'm going to be displaying on my repeated items so let's go ahead and click on this you can see that this is a bit too much of information to present at a time for each of these items so we want to go ahead and minimize the number of items that can show at a time so what i want to do is to go ahead and connect this field to an element on my repeater now let's go ahead and add the collapsible text go over to your ad and then go to text and then go to your paragraphs and here you can find the collapsible text so you can drag and drop any of this collapsible text onto your site so let's start with the first one which is change the text so this is the text that is currently being shown here that means you can actually use this to display any kind of text on your website but what i want to do actually is to connect this to my data set the same way i connected this text element so first of all you can see that we have two options here we have the option to expand or to link for me i'm going to go with link but one important thing is i want to be able to hide this read more and the reason for that is that i'm not able to connect the link of this text to my content manager so what i want to do is to go ahead and just hide it because even though the user clicks on it it's not going to work but then i don't have the option to hide this read more and that is because we need to turn on our dev mode in order for us to see that option so when you turn that on you can see that it has another option that says show button which is this button here now when we toggle this off you can see that that button has been hidden which is similar to what we have here there is no button right so this is looking all good the way we want it to look and the next thing we want to do is to go ahead and change the design now this is where you choose your fonts and how you want the text to look and for me i'm just going to keep it very simple and use their veneer and i think this is looking perfect the way i want it to be okay go ahead and close this and you can resize it and place it inside of your repeater now let's go ahead and create a space for it let's drag this down and then bring this to this section awesome so i think this is looking good let's bring this one back up a little bit and this is perfect now click on that element again and click on connect to data you're going to go ahead and choose the data set that you use to connect your repeater and then click on test connect to recognition to the description field now once you do that you can see that the items have successfully been connected and they've shortened the number of items that can be viewed at a time this is looking good now let's say for example you want to display more lines or maybe just one more line so let's go ahead and click on that go to layout and this is where you choose the number of lines to display you can choose to display three more lines now this is looking good and you can go ahead and choose the number of lines that you want i think displaying three lines is perfect so that brings us to the end of this tutorial i hope this was a very useful tutorial if it was please let me know in the comment section and also don't forget to watch the tutorial about how you can connect your data sets to repeaters that you can use to filter your repeater without writing any single line of code thank you very much for watching and see you in the next tutorial